Meet Dave, the minion. Has anybody seen Despicable Me? Well, I've just recently been to see Despicable Me 3. 3. Um, I watched the first one and the second one. It's a kids movie, but it is... I think it's really funny. And if you're into your films like me, um, then I definitely think it's worth a watch. Even if you're an adult. It's a great fun family film. So I made Minion Dave. Minion Dave is pretty cool and I made this on my printer. So uh, I just thought I'd do you a quick video of me making Minion Dave um, and show you, show you how I made him. Well I kind of didn't make him really um, and he's not really finished. I've got my 3D printer now, which I'm really excited about, and I, uh, I've been playing around printing some stuff, and I saw this little minion um, after I watched the film, and um, I thought it would be really quite cool to make Dave the minion. <laughs> so um, there's not really a great deal that I can show you about this apart from how my 3D printer works, because obviously I didn't make him, my 3D printer did. Um, but I thought we would make him and show you. He's pretty cool. And then I would, what I would do is I would kind of put him in a piece of wood somewhere so he can have. I might even print him a mate. So uh, let's get on and show you how I made it. So now Dave's been printed and I've got my little minion, I found this little piece of wood initially. I'm not too sure what it is. Um, again, it's, I don't know, might be apple or something or no, I've no idea to be fair. So I'm going to try and make a similar type of scenario that we had the other day with Groot um, where we can kind of like have him on display of some kind. So this shouldn't take too long. So I'm going to mount this on the lathe. We're going to start to kind of like make this into a make this into some kind of like ornamental piece where we can fit Dave in there, Minion Dave, mind you, from Despicable Me. I think that might look quite cool. Dave should fit in there quite nicely. What do you reckon, Dave?
So there he is, folks. Minion Dave. Give him a bit of a paint job as well. I think he was naked. <laughs> the kind of a little tribute, really, to the film that I just watched. Um, it was a pretty cool film. I kind of enjoyed it. And I saw the little minions running around. I thought, you know what? I'm going to see if my little 3D printer will print me a minion. And uh, we can make a kind of little ornament out of it. So, yeah, it didn't, couldn't really shine up the wood that much. But I don't think that really matters. I think it sort of like looks kind of cool like that. And it's just sort of coming out. Sort of glued it in there. Just sort of coming out of the, of the wood, really. So uh, make a good little uh, ornamental piece. And uh, with the bottom... Bottom. I put on these little rubber feet like I did uh, before with the uh, group one. So it just gives it a nice kind of seat. Definitely recommend going and seeing the Minions from Despicable Me. The actual Minion, there is actually a Minion movie, but it's all right, it's not, it's not fantastic. But I think the, the Despicable Me's with the Minions in it is pretty cool. There it is, folks. My little uh, Minion Dave. It turned out okay. But I kind of love my 3D printer. It is absolutely awesome. You definitely need to, I think, invest in a 3D printer at some point. Um, because they're pretty cool. You can kind of print anything with it. You know, um, it's. Uh, I'll give you a bit of a walk around one day on it. But it's... Um, is it Zorax? Is it Zorax one? I think it's a Zorax. So, this is dedicated to the Minions from Despicable Me. Uh, thanks very much for watching. Um, don't forget, make a central. And yes, it is still, what, nine months away. But um, we're moving on and we're making some really big progress. And uh, it is really great news. We've got some more people on board, which is fantastic. Um, just to let you know, I'll give you a little bit of an update on here. Um, we have now on board as uh, one of our main sponsors, Triton Tools. Fantastic. So as you know... Uh, L Laura uh, Kempf has come in to make us central and uh, she works very closely with Triton Tools. She's just recently got a kind of like a, a deal with them. So uh, they're obviously going to have Laura on their stand. Uh, you never know, we may even get confirmation of April coming. Um, and uh, that would be pretty cool. Maybe even Daniel. Is it Daniel they also look after? I think they've got kind of three YouTubers that they kind of look after. We definitely know Laura's coming and we definitely know Triton Tools are going to be there. So that's really great news. So there's a little bit of an update for you for, um, for Maker Central. And if you haven't seen it yet, you probably have. But the link's below for the website. If you wouldn't mind popping on over there, checking out the landing page. Honestly, when the, when the full site goes up, you'll really, really like it. But um, I think we're still around sort of three or four weeks away from that. Maybe delayed because we may want to... I don't know, change a few things and stuff like that. But anyway, love to see any of you there. Um, anyone that wants to exhibit, head on over and just register your interest on the website. Anyone wants to just come and check us out. Meet all the YouTubers. Meet, it is going to be such a fantastic weekend. Anyway, just a quick update there for you, which is quite cool. Uh, we're quite chuffed that Triton are coming and uh, we'll have some more news for you on Wednesday, no doubt. So uh, thanks very much for watching my little Minion movie. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for all my new subscribers and uh, thanks to all my old ones for sticking around and I shall see you on Wednesday. Minion out.